the IS curve. The IS curve shows the combination of interest rates and income levels for which the market of goods is in equilibrium. That is to say, income equals aggregated demand. How is the IS curve graphically obtained? The IS curve is obtained upon two equilibrium points in the market of goods determined by the income expenditure model. The aggregated demand is equal to A plus the marginal propensity to consume times 1 minus T times the level of income. The autonomous expenditure A can be divided in two components. One that depends on the interest rate minus B times I and the other that is independent, the autonomous expenditure A. Now the aggregated demand curve can be expressed like the sum of A minus B times I plus the marginal propensity to consume of the income level. In order to draw the IS curve based on the income expenditure model, we need to know the interest rate value. If the interest rate is equal to the interest rate sub zero, then the aggregated demand will be equal to A minus B times I sub zero plus the marginal propensity to consume times 1 minus T times Y, thus obtaining the aggregated demand curve sub zero. The equilibrium point E sub zero is thus obtained for this income level Y sub zero. On the graph interest rate income, the first point of the IS curve can be obtained as a combination of the interest rate sub zero and the income level sub zero obtained in the previous graph. If the interest rate is reduced to I sub one that is lower than I sub zero, we can obtain a new aggregate demand, the aggregate demand sub one that is located above the previous one. We reach the new equilibrium point E sub one for an income level Y sub one. In the graph interest rate income, we can represent the new combination of interest rate income, that is a lower interest rate I sub one that leads to a higher level of income Y sub one. If we join the two equilibrium points, we graphically obtain the IS curve. How does an expansive policy affect the IS curve? Starting from an initial IS curve, we can get the effect of a fiscal policy on the IS curve. Let's suppose an increase of public expenditure that has a direct effect on the autonomous expenditure A. Thus, Given an initial aggregated demand curve, the increase in public expenditure induces an upward shift of the curve on the vertical axis to A prime minus B times I sub zero. The curve shifts upwards in parallel in a value equivalent to the increase in expenditure, getting to a new aggregated demand sub zero prime. Similarly, this happens to the aggregated demand sub one that increases in the same value. That is to say, the increase in autonomous expenditure until A prime minus B times I sub one, inducing a parallel shift of the aggregated demand curve sub one, inducing a parallel shift of the aggregated demand curve sub one prime in the same value. For each interest rate I sub zero and I sub one, we get now the new equilibrium points. In the case of I sub zero, we get the equilibrium point that determines the new income level Y sub zero prime. In the case of interest rate sub one, we get the new equilibrium point for Y sub one prime. If we project these points on the graph interest rate income, we get two new equilibrium points. Joining these two new points, we get the new IS curve called IS prime. This new curve is equal to the previous one, but it is shifted in parallel to the right. 
Therefore, an increase in public expenditure results in a shift of the IS cube to the right in parallel to the previous one.